Hi everybody, welcome to Stitching with Paprika. Thank you for joining me on this fine day. Man, it has been a crazy past four or five days. Sorry for the lack of video yesterday, but, or no, because this is going up tomorrow. So, sorry for the lack of video on Monday. <sighs> a lot has happened in just the past couple of days, let me tell you. So, over the weekend, I was planning on recording videos for all this week. That didn't happen. Friday, my husband comes home from work. Says he's not feeling good. And then asks me if we have any COVID tests lying around the house. I said, yeah, we have two. So he tested himself. Came back positive. Well, I might as well test myself too. I'm not feeling that great. I wasn't feeling as bad as he was, but I still was not feeling good. So I tested myself and it came back negative. Then I go to the store. I get more tests. At the right aid I went to, they said that you can have a maximum of eight tests, eight free tests per month. So I got all eight. I said, okay. So I tested the girls because Adora had been sick. She had a fever of 101 for three or four days and I could not get it to break for anything. The medicine wasn't even helping. So Adeline was sick. She had a cough, a fever, and she was really congested. So I tested both of them. Both of them came back positive. Retested myself because I know sometimes you can either get false, false, false negatives or you can just test too early before the virus actually shows up. So I tested myself again. Mine came back negative again. However, that day I was feeling even worse. So I called my job and I told them, hey. Here's what's going on. Everybody in my house has got COVID. I'm the only one testing negative, but I do have symptoms. Do you want me to come in? They said, yes, come in. As long as you test negative, you can come in. So I said, okay. No, that was Friday. Friday? I don't know. Anyways, one of the days I went in, everything was fine. You know, I was coughing at work. Nothing too serious. And then the next day I called again and said, look, I'm still testing negative. What do you want me to do? They said, you have to come on in as long as you're testing negative. Okay. So I went in again. This time I feel like I, I've been hit by a car. So I go in and I'm getting sicker as the night progresses. I'm getting weak. I'm coughing. Other, other stuff is going on, just, so I go home. They send me home early. So I go home, go to bed, Sunday. Of course we had to stay home. We don't want to go. We were supposed to go to my mother-in-law's house, but we didn't end up going because um, well, we all got COVID. We don't want to get anybody sick. So we all stayed home and we did our own little thing around here. I did an Easter egg hunt for the girls. Um, they found their Easter baskets that the Easter bunny brought them and they had fun. They had a good day. Um, yesterday, Monday, thankfully I had Sunday and Monday off of work. So I've just pretty much been resting, but, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm still not, I'm still not feeling good. Um, Still feeling really weak, really tired, um, still testing negative. I went to Walgreens though, because they do the drive through testing where they send it off to the lab. So I did that. I'll get my results back in 72 hours. It would be amazing if, well, not amazing. It would, it would be crazy. We'll, we'll say that. It'll be crazy if everybody in my house has COVID except for me and I just have the flu. 
that would be insane to me. But so that's that's why I had to do a little bit of makeup today because I am feeling I'm feeling like crap. But um, so that is what has been going on the past couple days. I've been trying to make stuff. I made something last week and then I was working on I have something in a work in progress that I have to show you. Um, I don't, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry. I'm trying to get some stuff made up to show you guys. Um, but it's, it's been rough with what, what it's been rough with everybody in the house being sick. And, like, me and my husband are trying to take turns taking care of the girls, like, trying to tag team them, but it's, neither one of us feel good. We both feel like we've been hit by a truck, but I'm trying to find the energy somewhere to, to last, because I have to go to work tonight, unfortunately, and then thankfully I have tomorrow off, and then I have to go back in Wednesday. I think I have tomorrow off. I don't know. I don't remember. I have to look at my schedule. But hopefully hopefully we can all just start feeling better soon because I am already over this and it's only been a couple of days. I need to get some of my energy back because even though I have okay my camera cut out on me. I need to figure out why it keeps doing that. But anyway so because I have even though I have been tired so much because Adeline doesn't sleep. I am so much more tired now. I am completely wiped out. But anyways, on to what I have been making. I have been, I have been wanting something to wash my back with, like a, a back scrubber thing. But every time I go to the store, I forget. I forget to buy one. So I decided, well, I could just make one. Because the only time I ever think about wanting one is when I'm at home. When I go out and about, I completely forget that I want one. So I made one. Nothing special. Just a um, cotton, like a, like a long washcloth, really. Or a skinny towel. And then I put some handles on the ends. And then I can just wash my back. Scrub, 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 wash my back. See? So, I'm excited to try this out. And I did the same thing for this that I did with Adora's scarf that I made. I just did single crochet, double crochet, alternate. And I used, let me see, I have, whoops, I have another skein of the yarn right here. Yarn B. Sugar Wheel Cotton Mini Prairie Sky. This is what I used. This was actually given to me by Miss Cinnamon Stitches herself. Because I guess she had a bunch of these from one of the Hobby Lobby sales. She paid 62 cents for it. And she didn't like them or something. So she gave them to me. And I'm finally getting around to using them. I think I'm going to make a couple of these though. Probably because I have a bunch of those that... Oh, excuse me. I have that one in the same color. I have a little bit more of this one left over. And then I have some other colors over there. So I think I'm going to just make a bunch of washcloths, towels. Because I have, I have so much cotton over there. I really do. And I need to get, I need to, to get using it. I really do. I haven't bought cotton in a very long time. A very long time. I don't even know how long it's been. Because I have so much of it. And then I started on something for Adora. I started her little bunny rabbit. That she's been asking me for. That she can't make up her mind what color she wants it. So I went with pink. Because she loves pink. And if she doesn't like this bunny rabbit. Then Adeline can have it. But here's the lower half. I'm working. I'm, I'm getting there. Stuffing it as I go. Um, the, the pattern I used for this is supposed to be a ballerina bunny, but you're supposed to like make clothes for it. 
like make the clothes as you go like i was supposed to make like this much of it the, the shoes i was like i'm just gonna make a solid bunny and then i can make like a little skirt for her or a little dress or whatever but i don't want to do like switching off the colors to make shoes and then bunny and then skirt and then you know i just don't want to do all that so this and this is i showed it to you before when i first bought it this is the big twist value oh sorry color hot pink adora picked it out of course so working on that not much else i'm working on um like i said it's been it's been crazy around here absolutely bonkers um my husband oh excuse me i am so sorry guys i'm just absolutely exhausted my husband is working on my painting let me show you real quick he is making me a picture let me show you what he has so far I love it. I love it. I love it. It's, I don't know where it's going to go back here, but it's going to go somewhere. I was going to put it right there. Right. Right there. But I don't know. I'm thinking I might put it back there. I don't know. But I love it. He was asking me what color yarns I like for the, the yarn in the picture. And I, I told him, I said, use this as reference. Like you can make one ball, the pink make another ball this pretty blue you can make another ball this pretty purple in here like just these are the colors i like use this for reference so he has this <laughs> sitting next to the painting whoops sorry skittles i wasn't trying to throw yarn at you um yeah so it's coming along nicely um he doesn't have a whole lot of time to work on it because um you know, life, being sick. He was he was working on it a lot, but no, but we're we're getting there. It's um it's coming along very nicely. I really love it. I'm so happy. It takes me getting a YouTube channel for him to to paint me something, but I'm I'm not gonna complain because at least it's happening. It's happening. I have a painting. Oh, I am so happy. But this is, this guys, this is going to be a short video. I am telling you that right now because Adora is bugging me. She wants to go outside and play. Can't blame her. It's a beautiful day outside. It's like 77, I think. Excuse me. It's like 77. Her and Adeline need to get outside and play. They need to go get some fresh air. Meanwhile, Adeline is at the top of the stairs saying, tickle, 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 tickle. So. And she is, she is going to be in an upcoming video. I, I promise. It's coming. Slowly but surely, it's, I mean, eventually it, it will be here. I will make, I will put her in a video. <clears throat> um. Oh, but this bunny, I meant to, I meant to mention this. The the pom-pom that I wanted to use for this bunny is way too big. So I'm going to make a different one. I'm going to go and I'm going to buy a smaller one for this one. And then what I'm actually going to do is I'm probably going to use this yarn and use the same pattern, but because it's a much thicker yarn, it'll come out a much bigger bunny. And um, because I don't, well, I have that yarn, but I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm going to use some thicker yarn. I don't know if it's going to be this yarn, but I'm going to use some thicker yarn and make a bigger bunny so I can use that, that pom-pom over there. Um, for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, let me get it. Uh, this. I bought this a while back. I was going to put it on a hat or something. I just thought it was the cutest little pom-pom in the whole world. 
and then I decided I was going to use it for a bunny, but this is way too big for this bunny. Way too big. You can't even see the bunny behind it. <laughs> so, I'm going to make a bigger bunny and use this. I'm going to go to the store and buy some smaller ones. I don't, I don't know if they have these, but I found, I don't know if they have these, um, smaller, these colorful ones in smaller. I looked, but I didn't, oh, I tried to catch it. I don't think they have them in smaller pom-poms, but I saw some on Etsy, I think. So we will be going on Etsy and buying some. Oh, Adeline is feeling much better, if you can't tell. She, uh, Adora is still, she, her fever is gone. She does not have a fever anymore, thank God, but yesterday and the day before she was feeling okay, but I think that was just, like, the excitement from Easter and everything, and today... She's, she's just not feeling good. I can tell just by looking at her and she's losing her voice and she keeps crying all day long. And I tell her, I say, baby, you got to stay calm. I want you to try not to cry. I know you don't feel good, but I want you to try not to cry because you're straining your voice. And pretty soon you're going to be like Ariel and you're not going to be able to talk. So I'm trying to get her to stay calm and be happy and just try not to cry so much because it's it's really straining her voice and she's starting to lose it a little bit. So, I don't know. I don't know anymore. But, oh, I need to go get some caffeine. So I stop yawning. And then um, I'm going to try and record another video. I don't have a clue what it's going to be about. Maybe I'll grab Adeline and bring her down here. Um, cause yeah, I haven't had much time to plan a video out cause I'm trying to get everybody feeling better. I'm trying to plan for Adora's birthday cause we have her birthday party coming up praying. I am praying to God that we all feel better by then and that we are no longer testing. Well, I'm no longer testing positive. They are no longer testing positive for COVID. I pray it's gone by then. Oh, I think it's next week. Next weekend. Because I would... She has been so excited for her birthday. And she is... Literally counting down the days. Until her birthday party. Like, I have it written on the calendar. And she keeps going and looking. And I really don't want to have to postpone it or cancel it. I really don't. <clears throat> so. Um, anyways. I think. I think that's going to be all for today. Um, I don't really have a whole lot more to talk about. Not a whole lot has been going on around here. Besides being sick and. Oh I'm so sorry. Me trying to whip up a couple of makes. I really do like this though. I wasn't sure if I was going to like all these colors together, but I really do. I do. I really do. This is pretty orange. And I held it together. Let me tell you this too. I held it together with a gray yarn. That's so it's this held together with a very light gray. And it made it a little thicker. Because I, I like my stuff thick. I don't like using just one strand of cotton. I love holding my cottons together to make them thicker. So I did. You got the purple, the orange. You got this blue. And then, I don't know if you can tell, but it changes into a slightly different blue. This is the one blue and this is the other blue. I don't know if you can really tell, but... And then we have more purple. I do like it. I am. I'm going to make some more stuff with this. Cotton. And I got to find 
another color excuse me to hold it together with though because i ran out of gray i didn't have that much to begin with i didn't even have a whole um a whole scheme but i have other colors over there i know i do i like it to be coordinating but it doesn't have to be like i like to hold colorful stuff with a solid color but i don't know I'll figure it out it's not a big it's just washcloths and towels or whatever and i found a pattern for a towel that i want to make it's because i'm not i'm not a big fan of the hand towels that like have just like a just like a, a loop on the top to hang them with um i like having wide towels so i found a pattern for a towel i will link it below I found a pattern for a towel I want to make it like it's a wider towel and you fold it over the the handle of the oven or whatever and um then it's got a button and a strap and you wrap it around itself if that makes any sense I will I did a, I did a different one like that it was like a keyhole dish towel uh or hand towel you just make a hole in the middle of it and then you tuck it through but Adeline keeps on ripping that towel off of my stove no matter how hard I tuck it and pull it tight. She just gets it off. So I got to do the one with the button so she can't get it off of my stove. Because I've lost that towel so many times because she just won't leave it alone. So I'm going to do the one with the button. I have tons of buttons around here. Um, yeah. But I will. I'm going to try to work on some of that stuff in the next couple of days. Because like I said, I have to work tonight. And that is me working from 8 o'clock at night until 1 o'clock in the morning. So I'm not going to have any time to do anything today. Today, And I think I have tomorrow off. So I might be able to get some crocheting in tomorrow. Because my husband's got the whole week off due to COVID. Probably part of next week too. I hope not because he starts his new job next week. Um, I hope he tests positive before then. Um, but yeah, okay. I'm gonna let you guys go. Um, I'm gonna go get some caffeine, probably grab Adeline and bring her down here for a quick video. And then, um, I might grab a door too. So we can announce her spice name. I'll do Adeline first and then I'll bring a door in on the end. Anyway, you guys will see when it comes up. <laughs> I will see you guys on Friday. Thanks. Bye.